Welcome back. Last time, we lost all of our costumes. We lost pretty much everything, including my sister, who thinks that I lied and cheated and made sure that she didn't like me anymore. But hey, look it, there's a little friend over here. Hello. You found me. I'm playing hide and seek with my friends. Wanna play? If you find all, oh, it's a hide and seek kid. That he might be able to help us out. All right, so what we're trying to do is we're trying to get our clothes back from uh, those two tangus or crows people or whatever. So we gotta go and find ourselves some clothes or costumes or whatever. We just need to find something. Aha! Hello. Ah, uh, that's you! Oh, you found me! Darn you! Oh, darn you hay fever. I didn't know she said that. Oh, what do we got here? Happy Halloween and welcome to the Fall Valley Carnival. Admission is $5 if you're wearing a costume. How much is it for aren't wearing a costume? Well, the rules of the carnival say that you have to wear a costume to get in. So I'm going to have to say that the ticket without a costume is a million dollars. How about that? Yikes. Well, we don't even have five dollars. Let's go figure out a way we can get in here. So that's, that's fun. A Halloween creepy carnival. But we don't even have a costume right now. So what are we supposed to do? Hey, brah. I got sticky stuff all over my sweet shoes creepy treat card. I need another one. I've got some rare ones, too. Trade you if, if they aren't sticky. I don't have an extra one on me. But if the first one, I'll let you know. Cool. No pra. So I think we're in the rich people neighborhood. And hello. Ta-da! You cursed brats! Look what you've done! Oh, what in the world? What a world! So we're already at three of uh, three of six. Not a bad start, and I think we broke her. Oh, that's right. We got a new uh, new battle stamp. We have the Banshee auto resurrect self after one turn with some HP restored. Not bad. Uh, usually uh, we try not to die. So. Ooh, 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 my ancient mummy sounds. So yes, that's a pretty good one if you die a lot or you don't want to use any healers, and that's that's a good way. But it's really hard to tell which character's gonna gonna die. But if you're worried about a boss fight, I think that's the best plan to go. Do do bash pumpkins. Hey there, little ones, would you like to buy some of my delicious fries? Your fries smell great, but we're too busy looking for Halloween costumes right now. Really, I do have a french fry costume I bought to promote my fry stand, but it's too small for me. Perfect, we'll take three costumes, please. We only have one, but I'll lend it to you. If you bring me three new customers, I'll let you have it. Plus, I'll throw in tickets for the carnival. Here, put this fry costume on and use this delicious smelling lure ability to bring back customers to the stand. Help me be a winner for once in my pr pretty fogging life. Petty fogging life. Ooh. So, we have the French fries! And I think we have another friend right here. Oh, I guess that's not him. Never mind. If the monster's behind the door, Lucy uh, and Lucy and I weren't wearing costumes, you'd be pumpkin paste. So we cannot trick or treat yet, but we do have to find a three new um, customers. Whoa! Let's get some French fries. Oh, oh, that's awesome! You literally have to like lure them using this fries power. <laughs> Gonna eat French fries to like puke. I wonder what this will do outside of uh, the puzzle. Oh, I love to look at those, uh, those balloons. No! Uh, sacrifice for the good. Good of the people. This is an actual p banana my pa grew on our farm. Hmm. It's better than all the ones that uh, kids bought. And hello. Oh, is that a ramp? Ooh. I'll have to check that out. Chest featuring candy! So I'm going to speed it up here and we're going to get the last two of our uh, food people. My brother told me there was a french fry standing around here, but I don't see it anywhere. It's like someone just... Oh, hey guys, over here. Check out my uh, outside voice. Since you're in the sticks, why not uh, buy that sticks? 
Battle stamps. Yeah, you know what? Sadie, how'd you get out here in the country? My dad dropped me off. He's so excited he came camping with you guys. Oh, nice. Did he give you any s'mores? No, but I do have some more battle stamps. We have our flying tombstone that we didn't buy. Uh, we have rotten egg, which is the stun ability. Uh, severely damages and stuns a single enemy for one turn. Very helpful. And then we have a strong counterattack on a successful defend. We'll get the we'll get the rotten egg right now. It's like someone just grabbed my nose. Oh, we'll just lure you out. Oh, haha! Let's see if we can train this. I smell that faint aroma of deep fried bliss. Any idea where it came from? Well, just give me a second. Let me grab this chest and then I'll uh, talk to you. Get that. And then stand right here. No. It keeps wanting to talk to him instead of just doing the, uh, the ability. Nope. Can, you have to do one at a time. That kind of sucks. Hey. Oh, red French fries. Oh, that's where the fry stand is. Awesome. And ta-da, three out of three. I'm a winner now, a winner. Here, take these tickets. Good luck finding your costumes. You kids are the best, woohoo. Let's get our costumes back from those monsters. And we have tickets to the Fall Valley Carnival. I'm just gonna do a quick little... Oh, I already got that. Yeah, we'll head back on up then. So, back up top here. These, uh, these crows are a little hungry. Food! Quick, lure them to that barn. To the barn! Oh god, the barn's the other way. We're gonna slam you on in here. We have one more to deal with. Look, walking food. It's like a Scoo it's like a Scooby Doo uh, <laughs> Scooby Doo mystery tour thing, where they like go in one way and all of a sudden they pop out. How did we get out from the side? Is there a window? Yeah, there's a window. You got your costumes back. This completes me. We got our costumes and our tickets. Now that jerk at the admissions booth has no reason to keep us out. We also have a brand new costume, so I'm going to cut right to where the uh, first trick-or-treating area is and uh, show off the new costume. Trick-or-treat! Wow, hello to Fall Valley! <laughs> well, hello to Fall Valley, that makes total sense. Blech. You can tell I record late at night. And with that, what do you think a fry's gonna look like? The Nin Evil Fry Crab. So we have a new, probably one of my favorite looking costumes of the whole game, the Fry Crab costume. It is so good. We also have two new enemies. We have the Crest Waiter Spearman and the Assassin. We're gonna get rid of the Spearman first. Wham! I also wanted to show off the rotten egg ability. We're going to, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna hit this guy right here. Deals 30 damage and stuns him for a turn. Not as good as a two-turn stun like the last variation of it, but it does incredibly more damage. This way, we can kind of dedicate the healer to just keeping uh, crowd control, dealing a little bit of damage, and we, we get free attacks. But now, time for this ultimate ability, the Salt Attack. It's the ultimate. Which blinds him. not able to attack because he's stunned. And this lasts for a turn. 
not one of the best abilities, but probably one of the most creative. He's more, yeah, I would say he's more of a support character. Than Just look at that. He's so adorable. I'm a crab. Well, we'll go uh, one more fight with him. I've been waiting for you all night! Grab power, activate! Make death upon you! So two spearmen and a bruiser. I think we will go with him first. Sounds like a pair of scissors. It's great. Uh, I have to comment now on the surrounding area of the time. It is uh, changed once again to a very lovely scene of the... Uh... Sorry about that, my phone just went off. It's a very, very lovely scene of the city uh, that we're hanging out in. You can see the carnival, very, very scenic. We went very far considering we were in town a little while ago. Poison that's gonna kill him. We'll go over here. And rotten egg. But I, I just love the, the scenery and the fact that, like, it's in our heads, but we can't prove it is. Oh, look, a little windmill over there. It's amazing. Salt attack. Oh, it blinds everybody. Oh, that is so useful. They're both stunned, so we don't have to worry about that. I'm sorry. The phone won't go on silent right now. up here. And rotten egg. Keep him stunned. Salt attack. Ready. Really? Just, just attack him. Human crackers and bloppers. No, 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 no. You don't get to just go on and not acknowledge the fact that there are human crackers. Go, go over. Human, human. Cr the shape, like, that's, that's amazing. Those should actually be a thing. Can I buy that last stamp from you? Yep, there we go. So we have two new uh, crows here, the Crest Whaler Mystic and the Monk. The Monk is in the white, so the Mystic is in the, the color. So they're pretty much the new casters of the group. And we'll just take care of them in any order that uh, we usually do, where the healer is first. overshoot how much damage that thing can do. Oh, that's a neat little uh, animation. Jupiter can't save you from the pain of the crab! Oh god, 
Ow, it hurts. And I'm on fire. Oh god, the crab man's gonna die. Blind you! You a lot of crap, friend. All right, it's done. And the fire is just making us a little bit more crunchy. It's not like we're uh, it's not like we're gonna die or anything. I don't know. I prefer uh, kind of colder fries than anything else. Oh, there's a weird like coughing animation when you uh when you blind it. Well you're blind, I'm gonna snip you to death. And there we are. We got street chews and jelly has beans. That's where the has beans come from. Alright. I'll just cut out the rest of this area unless something interesting happens here. So we'll just speed up this area. Such a fancy costume. Are you kids from the city? Yeah, we kind of got like teleported from out of town. You know, not a big deal. Unicorn pellets and fried popcorn. I'm not going to question the logic of this game. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna actually change out some costume stuff here. Poison's all good, but I think the uh, strong counterattack. Uh, ah, we'll give you dodge. You know, we'll give you wolf. We'll give you dodge. Yeah, we'll give you dodge. Uh, we need a little bit more damage in here anyway. So what we're gonna do is. Here we go. Fry's good and all, the, the stun's great, keep that. We're gonna put you back into the robot costume. It will keep you, uh, we'll, turn you a, we'll turn you into a robot. We're gonna have to find our way over there. Ugh, the clipping. Careful, it seems really big kids out there tonight. I love how they keep blaming the uh, the Groblins to be the like big kids that are terrorizing the streets. Let's see. Yeah, I'm curious about something. Eh, it's just a ramp. Interesting. I'll roll with it. I'm gonna eat fries to the puke. No. Oh no. Gotta pop the balloons. Beautiful balloons. I think we got the first part out of the way. I think it's time to uh, go up and see that carnival. After we save the course. We all have costumes and tickets now. May we come in? There we there. That wasn't so hard, was it? Oh, by the way, the Ferris wheel's broken. Take this constellation costume pattern before I change my mind. Have fun at the carnival. The vampire costume. You're allowed to come in, and there, here you are. Who are you? I'm many things. A helpful cat, a mysterious scarecrow. Gasp! But in my truest form, I am a simply Dorian. Humble, mystic, and... Brother of Dorsula the Witch. Plot twist. You, you're Dorsula's brother? Have you been helping us all along? My sister's fallen into a bad crowd. She needs to be brought to her senses, but I can't be the one to do it. Why? Because she's really mean and I'm totally afraid of her. But you, but I can help you do it. Get to the top of the ferris wheel and there you'll find the path. But hurry, running out of time. Time, time, time. Oh, 
so we met a new interesting character. And at the top is them shaking out candy from all the kids. Let us go! Please, I'm afraid of heights. <laughs> See, I told you humans are full of candies. You were right. I guess I owe you a huge hug after all. Hey, let those guys down. Greaves. It's those kids that Dorsala told us about. We cannot let them get away with it. We have to help those kids. So how can we help? Combat! Alright. One of each here. We're going to... Experiment's the weakest. 107 damage with that, uh, with that jawbone. Fantastic. I think I should have moved the unicorn to the third still. But anyways. See, I can see that the thing's working in the background, but no, no. Black community is not working. Ha, ah, duck. sake, I think I want to have Unicorn always in the third spot, not because it's a girl or anything like that, it's just because you get a better sense of who you need to heal uh, if she's the last one to attack. Just like having the knight as the last person to attack too, so you know who to defend. It's, it's just kind of an order of operation when it comes to damage. Having the crab third isn't bad because you can always stunning her first or last, it doesn't matter. The camera's getting a little wonky in this area. Let's see. And finally, Mr. Crab repeat. Six. We got chocolate hamburger and misfortune cookies. I could go for some misfortune cookies. You're gonna experience a horrible, horrible life experience. Oh, look at all that candy. Oh, nom nom nom. What's going on over here? We'll get to that a little bit later, but what do you have to say? I'm wearing this ironically. Of course you are. And how about you? Those whole stupid monsters have hijacked the Ferris wheel. Yep, good to know. And, what's going on here? Greetings, little ones. I am Orzo, the cannon-tossed ca oddball. Prepare those astonished. Prepare to be astonished as I climb into this cannon and explode through the air at inconceivable speeds. Your name sounds like the menu item at the uh, Ketsuki's Italian restaurant. Well, all great human cannons are named after pasta. It's tradition. Do you think it would be okay for us to use the cannon to get on top of the Ferris wheel? No! The cannon may only be used by a professional. And I, Orzo, am the only person here who is skilled enough to withstand the tremendous blast. If you're a professional, does that mean you're licensed and insured? Look, there's a reason I'm not doing this act in Vegas, kid. Oh, So far, so good. Looks like we can do... Oh, these are trick-or-treating houses. Human! Oh, no. I'll cut this out. So with that, we leveled up once again. Uh, sorry about that. I didn't know those were uh, trick-or-treating houses. I thought they were just an exhibit. And here, we do have a costume, or a chest full of candy. Now, now I think about it, we have costume patterns for the pumpkin, uh, multiple neighborhoods, the vampire, French fry, uh, creepy treat card collection, and, and Fall Valley. 
so we have two more to complete this. And then here in Fall Valley, and then two more. Interesting, where can they be? Can't wait for the vampire one. That one sounds awesome. I totally forgot about that. See more houses to trick or treat. Oh, hello. For your information, the female pirates were the most ruthless. Oh, hello. Didn't see you there, Cloud. How'd you find me? Do you have x ray vision? No, you're kind of in public. Got a chest here. More candy. I think since we leveled up, we should go probably check out the stamps, see what we got going. After I open all this up, I'll just do a quick montage of that. Aha! We have found the scary fang. Interesting and intriguing. Well, that's nice and really quick. Do you have to say for yourself, boy? If I wanted to, I could sneak by anyone. What do you got for us? We have two ply toilet paper. Uh, applies the attackable stun to a single target for two turns. So that's going to be a lot better than the one we currently have. Yodeling Black Widow. Terrifying ability. Greater chance to cause a single uh, enemy to flee. And Toxic Slime does uh, splash damage and may apply a dot. Thank you. That is the best of the cleaving abilities. Gimme, gimme, gimme. <laughs> I think we missed a house. Whoops. My husband said... Oh. Hello. Interesting. I didn't expect to have a, a nice uh, man, man couple living in this town. So quaint. Oh, let me guess. A donkey, a queen, and you are a fireman, right? <laughs> the people that don't know what's going on but trying to guess what they are. It's pretty clever. Do we have the card you need yet? I've got a street choose card for you, but you have to promise me not to call me bra anymore. No way! You can totally take my Mick Crispy Treat card for that then. Thanks, bra. There we go. We've traded up. I'm gonna take you out. Trying out the new splash damage here on probably the best uh, group you can possibly do that. We'll check. Ooh. Oh, baby. Look at that. Both poison. Like butter. Oh, he has a little, like, pumpkin ring. Neat. Look at that. Oh, you're not going to stop this. You're not going to stop the pain train from coming, boy. Here comes the pain train. Oh, what you do? Oh, yeah. Take that. Oh, crap. And the poison kicks in. Okay, quick fix. Loot and so I just want to make sure everything was finished up there. Let's see if we can get these. I don't think we want to fight the grublins yet. Actually, we'll call this one for here. Uh, we might be starting on some extensive storyline. So, thanks for watching, guys. If you like the series, please let me know. I'm gonna get ready for the second game of Cost and Quest here soon. So if there's anything you guys would like to see in the sequel, let me know. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.